punished for it yet. But uh, it's really, really useful. It's 30 damage. Um, it's fast and quick. And it does crush lows. So it works. Um, let's see. For 4424, this is also another uh, screw attack. It's really, really, this works. I use, I've only used it a couple times on accident. And both times, uh, it's, it's worked out in my favor. Um, so it really, really works. Um, you got her forward 4-3. Four, um, I love this move. I use it a lot because it is also a counter hit launcher. So it works. And then you got her forward 4-4. Four, four, four. Uh, this is really good. It's a homing move and a screw attack. So that's kind of kind of gives it two little purposes there i i don't whip this out a lot but i do whip it out every now and again just to just to kind of close the distance um to try to get my opponent uh try to get my opponent um worried um so it's really really good um you got her wall running forward forward uh her wall yeah wall running three um my fault uh, I have it down. I it's I I have it down as four, forward, 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 three. So, um, but this is really really useful. So basically, any forward, 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 or while running forward, uh, three moves, uh, pretty much are all high crushes or low crushes. Um, so keep in mind, you know, pretty much abuse her forward, forward, her forward, three moves. Um, I don't really know how else to put it. Um, you also got her wall rising 1-1. Uh, one, one. Um, it's really good. It's really nice. Uh, it's 21 damage. I'll explain why I actually use this a lot in a little while. And then her uh, another good move is her wall crou full crouched uh, down forward 4. Um, it's really decent. It's not too... At least in my experience, it hasn't been uh, super punishable yet. Um, I've only used it a couple times. Um, but it really works. It's got range. It's definitely got range to it. Um, so that's definitely something to whip out if, like, you know, you're a decent, decent range away. Um, so that's pretty much all of her, like, pokes, her poking game, and, uh, her counter hit launchers. I'll show you guys a few combos with her in a little bit, involving pretty much all of her counter hits. Um, keep in mind, Katarina is a big, big, big turtler, um, and really good combos. Um, like she doesn't have, like she got really, really good pokes. So, you know, exploit her pokes, use her pokes a lot. Just, just use them. Like I can't explain that enough. Um, Katarina is a turtler, and she's got some really, really good combos. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, so. Now let's go ahead and just get into her uh, stance real quick. Uh, so the only stance she's really got is her Harrier stance. Um, she's got her Harrier 1, which is just a quick little poke. Um, I do use this in strings, as you guys can see. I'll use that all the time. Um, she got her 2, which is really good for uh, forcing, forcing crouch on block. And uh, it'll knock them down um, if they don't if it hits. Um, then you got her uh, three, which is a, which is her low attack. Um, it, I would not use this often. Like whip it out every now and again to kind of see how well your opponent knows Katarina. But I would not use this move. Um, as flashy and awesome as it looks, it is extraordinarily extraordinarily punishable. So keep that in mind. Um, and then you got her Harrier uh, 4. I use this move a lot. This is pretty much like 99.9% .9 of my combos end with uh, this move. Uh, and you'll see that in a little bit. Um, and so that's pretty much all her moves. Um, she also has her uh, up 4 3, which is just her forward 4 3, but coming out of Harrier stance. Um, so it really just depends on the, how you want to use her. I've used it a few times just to kind of, you know, it low crushes. And when they see you in the air, a lot of people tend to think you're going for uh, the low. So it's really good for like 
uh, tricking some of the more advanced uh, opponents. Um, let's see. And she does have a raised drive in there, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about her moves into her stances. Now, when I say that, I mean these are moves that you're going to do and then you'll push a button and she goes straight into her stance. Um, this is something that if you want to be a really good uh, Katarina player, you're going to do this a lot. And I'm talking a lot. Um, so her first main one is her 1-1 one, one forward. Um, again, I, I don't use this particular string a lot. I have used it a couple times. Um, so it, it definitely has its use. Um, she got her 4-4-4 four, 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 four string. Um, it's 4-4-4 four, four, four forward string. Um, this is something to maybe use uh, in a combo such as that or something if you're like new and you're not really big on everything yet um that definitely works um let's see got her down forward one one forward um just uh yeah so down forward one one forward and that's how you get into that hit the stance from there um let's see and then you got her back one forward which is actually which is this is my 100 percent my main the one i mainly use um when i say i mainly use it um i'm talking like even even without using a combo i use this one all the time it's quick and it leads into a quick uh it leads into a quick follow-up um, I point that out because um, after they see this, a lot of people try to attack, and this actually beats them most of the time. So it, it's really, really, really nice. So if I'm gonna, if I point anything out, this is definitely something to use more than uh, any of the other stuff. Um, so let's see. So she has her up forward, four, 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 forward to get into her Harrier stance. So it's basically just her 444 stance, but with the added on uh, air shit. So that's really, really good. Um, and then her wall rising 1 1 um, forward goes into her Harrier stance. So that's really good. And that's pretty much it as far as uh, getting her into Harrier stance. Um, you know. So that's like, what is it? It's like six moves for sure to get into Harrier Stance. So it shouldn't be hard to figure out what move you want to use to to get with it. Um, and then, uh, so let's go ahead and just get into our launchers real quick. Um, again, let's go, let's check this out. Uh, she got her... All right, so she got her magic four, which is her counter, which is a good counter hit launcher. Um, you kind of got to commit to this one. This is like the main one that you kind of got to commit to, um, just because it really knocks them back. Um, so if you really want to keep, if you want to use that into a string, just hit four, just keep tapping four, and uh, it'll work itself out. Um, anything else is kind of, it's too slow. Um, so keep that in mind. Just keep, uh, be careful with that one. Um, and then she got her down forward four counter launch. Um, I use this one actually, I, I actually use this one quite a bit. Um, because it's safe and it's a good poke regardless. Um, then she got, um, so that's that one. So I would I would strongly recommend using her down forward four um, a lot. Uh, just give me one second. Do do do. All right. So yeah. And then I would heard. So 
On to the next move. Uh, she also has her down two, which uh, not only uh, launches on counter, but goes straight into her Harrier stance. So you can turn that into a combo. Um, so let's see. Her back four. This is, again, a really good move. My bad. No, it's just kind of... It's kind of sketchy. I mean, it's pretty easy to use, though. My bad. I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, Let's see. But... The only problem with this is that it is an extension, so usually when you're doing it, you're going to end up trying to do this. So you kind of got to like commit to whether you want to actually like hit the double or if you want to just kind of wait. Um, and you can't delay it. It doesn't delay either. So you that's kind of why you have to commit to it if you end up wanting to do it. Um, so let's see. One second. Back four. Oh, another one. It's her uh, forward four three. Again, I would definitely exploit this move, um, just because it's really really good. Um, I'll show you guys in a little bit how to use that in a combo. Um. One second. So, some of our other launchers, um, not countered. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Is her one one four? Um, be very careful using this one, uh, just because it's punishable. Um, I have used it a couple times. It's easier to use. Um, when somebody really doesn't know Katarina, um, because they see those that move. And if you've been that, if you've been that person that's hold, held forward into Harry the whole time, they might be the kind of person that tries to uh, do something. But it is punishable, fairly punishable. So be careful using it. Um, another good one is her down back four launcher. I use this a lot. I use, I mean, a lot. I use this one. Um, like, the only problem with it is it's it's fairly seeable. Um, so I would really only recommend using it if you if uh, you notice your person, the, your opponent is either really aggressive or uh, or extremely defensive, like somebody who holds back the whole time. That might be something to use. Um, but it's really, really, it's, it's, it's useful. It's, pe it's pretty much like, uh, like Brian Snake Edge. Um, it is a homing move. So that makes it all the more, uh, valuable. Um, so even if they try to sidestep it, it's not really going to work out in their favor that way. Um, another thing is, uh, her back two. Um, I like this one because it, it kind of gets out of the way. Um, it's not, it's not like Fang's, oh, some of Fang's launchers, but it will kind of get you out of the way there. Or, uh, Lars's. Yeah. Um, let's see. Up four, three. It's really, really good launcher. It's not too, too punishable. And if they try to jab you, you're already kind of crouched at the beginning. So, it, it works. Um, I don't use this too, too much. It is fairly punishable. But, uh. It does, but it, it's really nice to use. Um, it, it, it's it's good for uh, like a setup. Um, like if you're setting up your opponent, this is a really really good move to to whip out every now and again. But I w 